What's up guys, my name's Diachronic Heroes here on this Destiny video and today I'm going to be doing my 400 light setup It's going to be a spasmalizer time if you guys know what I mean But yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys my 400 light characters I actually have all three of them 400 light I, I got them to 400 light I think a month or two ago I know I'm way behind on getting the 400 light stuff and uh, I know it's that doesn't seem like a, a, a great point to doing this video but a lot of you did like when I did these uh, max level stuff back in the day and I thought you know what let's do one because I got some pretty cool stuff and variations and you know what I I'm I'm out of video ideas so you should help anyways without further ado let's get right into it so first character here uh, Actually, not the first character I got to 400. I think I've, my Warlock, oddly enough, the least played uh, character is the first one to 400 life. He just so happened to be the one where all the chips fell into the right place, but uh, I chose the Hunter first because uh, she's got this swinging looking cape. You see these little sparkles on her back from the Atheon Raid? Could probably get like tier 12, pretty close to tier 12. Um, anyways, we're gonna start over. We got uh, a bunch of different cool things on this character. We got our primary weapon 400 on this stuff. I got a couple of 400 stuff here, so a whole bunch of stuff. I got my Devil's Dawn. These are the things I was using for the uh, the Nightfall recently, and uh, things I do end up liking. My favorite here is Fangaviriot. Fangaviriot, oof, just beautiful gun. Scout rifle. Uh, I love scout rifle. My favorite gun in this game in the primaries. It's got scout rifle. Uh, you got the radar stays active, which I don't have yet. Arc damage is beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. I got Devil's Dawn in two different colors and a third color uh, sniper rifle here. If you know, if you've that is the, if that's the way you roll, and a couple more. I got my party crash over here um, on my 400 light. Uh, I've got my Fang of Ear Yut. Uh, don't have the Galahorn. For some reason, heavy weapons don't seem to drop very often, and uh, I'm kind of a little bit short on getting 400 light. For my other stuff, I, I'm sure my other characters have some stuff floating around. And for my ghost, I don't have a max tier ghost, but I do have max tier ghost on both the other characters. If you guys don't know, you're not enough of a nerd. Uh, you have to get uh, this one's actually really close. You have to get 25 25. Uh, you can see on this one, you have to get 25 25 or 25 35 on both of the stats for the ghost. And that's like that on the class item, I think, are the only ones I memorized. Uh, and then that makes it so you can get the maximum amount of stuff, and it's all random. Uh, I'm really close to getting this one to max. Uh, this one is... this one? One of these ones. This one. This one is the closest to it. Only one point off in the thing, but I think I was switching stuff. Anyways, this one we got some Celestial Nighthawks, some other 400, all that stuff. Love the Celestial Nighthawk for killing bosses. Just wrecks them apart, and I absolutely love it. We got a bunch of these other things. I've got a Kefri Spring over here. Uh, exaltations, you know, getting those um, the gold arm pieces. You know that gold set that they got? I don't know, it's freaking weird. We got the chest piece, which is a future wall court stuff. I get tons of packages because she's my future wall court uh, girl, and I'm so glad that I separated my three characters into the three factions, so I have a head start on getting those uh, things for the Age of Triumphs. And I don't think I have anything else 400 on her chest. She doesn't draw very much uh, for the chest. Maybe I threw them on other characters, uh, but I've got I've got some cute boots from the future wall card. If you guys don't know, the faction packages actually get you uh, up to 400 light gear, so that's why I'm rocking it. And it does look good. Like, the chest and the legs really go together, and because, uh, you know, they're supposed to go together, and that's really nice. And you can have a little slim body here looking hot, looking fresh. Got a cape on that looks nice. You know, this cape from the Shattered Vault of Glass with the special upgrade. If you guys don't know, this is the the one where I put like an ornament on if I deactivate it what it usually looks like nothing like this looks like this it's not a bad cape at all I mean it looks cool black and gold black and yellow black and yellow but with the ornament with the ornament it looks gallant it looks beautiful I also like this coat this coat for a good coat I cannot speak today anyways finally we have this which is not the one this is the other one that goes 2535 um, and I don't remember what the other ones do but I've just been trying to max them out um, I did use uh, Memory Shoulder for a while, but uh, you know, I don't need to sprint that much in the uh, Crucible which, uh, and the Raid and stuff uh, where I was uh, holding this stuff. And of course, I have all this fully upgraded from years ago, from years and years ago. And just before we switch characters, I wanted to pop over here. I have this much stuff, whatever this means. I, I switch things between characters all the time, so um, this is not representative, I guess. <laughs> Welcome all ye landovers to the Titan, the greatest man among me mortals. Uh, Titan main, don't know if you knew that, but uh, yeah, I'm really close to getting tier 12 on my Titan. I have a lot of stats that are pretty well out, I'm at tier 11 here, if you guys don't know, you can get a maximum of 12 in total, so you can see there's 3 on this one, 3 bars on this one, 5 on that one, that equals 
11. And uh, apparently you can max out a tier 12, so I'm, I'm really excited. I did mention that a little bit earlier, but I just thought I'd clarify, uh, fl clarify on a lot of those things. Uh, first, Distant Start, my favorite weapon in the game. This high damage scout rifle you get from the Iron Banner. Just amazing. If you ever get it, it's amazing at Crucible. It, they get three-shot headshots, people, like the Mida, uh, but without the shitty shite. The shitty shite. The shitty shite. And, of course, I've got my Fate Bringer over here. And of course, all those stuff. And then this, this is this is also one of my favorite weapons. Explosive damage, high fire rate, scout rifle, just beautiful. Like I, I it's, it's beautiful. It's oh, it's beautiful. I have a I am icebreaker with this beautiful white skin coming in at uh, only five thousand dollars. Of course, times the ninety nine dollars. So you're gonna do it five thousand times ninety nine. Is that how advertising is gonna do in the in the future? Uh, this is only three dollars times ninety nine. If you guys want to get it for the little low price of three times ninety. $99 and buy now, but uh, yeah, it looks very nice. I've got a couple of other uh, 400 stuff floating around my jabber hacky. I've had, I literally have had this weapon since like the new, I think year two that were they, the Taken King, really. I had this since literally the first time you could get it, and it's a high fire rate, uh, 15 bullets in a mag. I always use it for Crucible. It's amazing, and I've uh, kept it, and it's been my jabber hack. It's, it's, it's been that weapon where if I can't do anything with any other specials, put on the jabber hacky. You get ammo when you spawn, and it works wonders. Over here on the legendary, I had a bunch of different things floating around because of the uh, the nightfall with the uh, fire stuff. I was there. I've got all the different Thunderlords just kind of hanging around waiting for a goddamn rocket launcher or a heavy weapon that will have 400 above. These are my four different elements that are maxed out, so that's why I have that. And my sleeper is almost there uh, at the top of it, but uh, yeah. Anyways, coming over here for the Vanguard Shell, the max level of Vanguard Shell, you can see that's 35 and 25. It is beautiful, and I've got a couple others that are really close, like this one is really close. And, uh, well, you know, just, I got lots of ghosts. I did a lot of, uh, whatever, Archon's Forge recently, so that is why I have it. And, of course, I've got the helmet with the horns of justice. I freaking love this. I don't like the helmet as much, but uh, the horns, it's, let's just say it makes me so horny. But anyways, the, uh, helmet's lacking arm pieces. I can switch over to a, uh, uh Rune Wings. I have a bunch of arm pieces on, on my, uh, my Hunter that are 400 and, uh, that can get me light level. I think I'm gonna be rocking the Ruin Wings once I, you know, infuse it, but uh, as for the moment, I have these Iron Banana ones. Look at this thing. I've had this stuff and infused it since the Iron Banner last, which was before the uh, Iron the Age of Triumphs ever came out. I'm gonna be playing the next Iron Banner, so if, if you if, if that comes out and I don't know, just remind me on Twitter, down in the description down below. I, I actually pointed in real life. I don't even know, but uh, yeah. Finally, last week we got these, uh, lastly, we got like three more things. Are you crazy? We got the, the boots, the, the Will of Crota. We got another Will of Crota new item. It has the fancy little, uh, uh honestly, I was going to say horns, but it kind of looks like it's just wet. And it's got some like radioactive goo on it. Just like, ooh, it's, it's dripping. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure, and of course I have the Iron Banner, of course I have the Iron Banter, and I think this is max level one. Yeah, yeah, look at this one. This one, Mark of Fortune, is a 25-35, that's why I still have that, uh, even though, you know, it's low, and that one, it's just Iron Banana. This one, I love the way this ban this this one looks. Look, mm, just Iron Banana, right there. Uh, but of course I'm switching stuff around, so you, know, you never really have it. This is sitting around in case I want to infuse it, and uh, yeah. There's really not much more to it. I, uh, whoops. I forgot. I also have a bunch of sparrows and whatnot. I don't know if you guys wanted to see that. I've got a radiant energy, ascendance energy. I need to trade this in in the tower. I deleted a whole bunch of weapons in my vault recently because it was full and it were all legendary weapons that were 160 or 150. And I'm like, I'm never going to use these. So get rid of them. And uh, so I did. And I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of these. I nearly have a thousand of each of these. I remember at some point I had 5,000 of both of these items. Uh, oh yeah, let's go over to these sparrows and this, the things in case you guys wanted to see. I know uh, some people are like, oh, what's that sparrow? Not really anything special here. Uh, Gallarhorn, Happy Horn, Bell. I don't really have much special. My, my ship is my favorite part. It's the, it's the, uh, the one that you can get from New Monarchy and a bunch of shaders. I mean, Hollowed Be Thy Name, pretty cool. Doesn't fit the horns. Blacksmith Shader, pretty cool. Nah, and uh, doesn't fit the horns. Um, but yeah, I've been rocking this one recently because it looks baller and just some Age of Triumph stuff. Got the finger wave! But yeah. Anyways, that was the Titan! 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 
Rah! And uh, we'll move over to the, uh, the the last and maybe least. <laughs> uh, my mind, I was like, but not least. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> we'll move over to the warlock. Titan Master Race. Titan Master Race. Welcome, my non-electric friends, to the warlock. I uh, recently have acquired a certain... Hold on. A certain skill set that one would call very shocking for my personality. I recently acquired, like literally just at the previous night, I recently acquired the Devouring Maw. And of course this uh, really hot new, uh, hot new item. <laughs> but anyway, starting here, Distant Star, I've, <laughs> I freaking love this gun. Distant Star has got to be like the best gun ever. It's, it's great. This I just got from Nightfall, destroy it because I do not need it. Zero impact. Uh, maximum fire rate auto rifle. It's it just it's never useful. It, it never is. I mean, it sounds like it's oh close range eh. <laughs> Never really Just want to point out real quick 299 299 Oh, yeah, this is oh, yeah, this is how I, I used to have it I, I used to have it with the uh, with the gold hat and that brought me up to what is that tier five three eight three eleven yeah I can get tier eleven here uh, but I just got this devouring maw uh, and maybe after some upgrades it will be better technically this gold one is a higher tier but uh, anyways before we get into that I want to get into the other stuff uh, we've got the uh, Oversoul edicts one of my favorite uh, primaries I love pulse rifles too world of Crota. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the hand cannons, man. Uh, we got a thousand yard stare. Black spindle uh, still needs upgrading. I, I, I use the uh, Gallahorn, Gallahorn so much I never am able to use it, but uh, it's there. Plan C. Uh, I don't have a ton of stuff on my Warlock. Um, thousand yard stare. It's just, it's just great. It's so great uh, that you'll love it. The, the Iron Gallahorn, the, the greatness from from within. Oh, and then a, a, a 2535 shell of the best variety. I don't know if you've ever seen this shell before, but it's freaking insane. Like, I, I don't know if this is gonna happen on the uh, the YouTube buffer, but you can see these green bits just floating inside the ghost. It's the best. I mean, it's it's not as adorable as um, the ghost with like the, the ghost like uh, little drapings over him. But that's adorable, but I don't have it. And of course I have a crimson shell as well. I think it was from the crimson doubles, although I never did crimson doubles. I don't remember what I got this, but uh, it's you know it's also cool and whatnots and all the whatnots. You know, I get I get tons of these 400 shells. I, I did a lot of Archon's Forge, like I said. Before. At the top here we have Devouring Maw as well as the Veil of a Dying Star. I don't know I have that one too. I didn't notice. Um, destroy that real quick. <laughs> uh, 390 just down the drain to all you uh, sub 390s out there. I don't know how I got, I think this was just an engram that I got. I was like, oh, an exotic engram, let's open it. Probably from a three of coins. I don't think I have any 400 arm pieces. Uh, I have claws of, of Hamkara, which gives me double melee hits. Um, and my build over here gives me double grenades. And it's, it's, it's just, you put that Nightfall, you put Sunsinger on on the Nightfall with the, uh, with the discipline recharge that I, with the discipline recharge that I have. And uh, this, what is this, 25 seconds? literally turns into two seconds i kid you not go watch my recent uh live stream video uh my third character i did was warlock just look i i go sun singer i have double grenades i throw a grenade by the time i can throw another one i have another one in like half the time so i throw a grenade and half of the time it takes to bring my hand back to my body i can ha i have another grenade and that's the second grenade because that one recharges slower than the, the first grenade and it's like it literally recharges in less than a second every single time and you can just be like grenade 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 and it's it's beautiful and i'm assuming in uh in you know online obviously it's not gonna be as powerful because it doesn't have daybreak on but uh, i'm assuming you put one of those fusion grenades on you can go nuts you can go nuts and it's beautiful right, we got the death mantle which is the upgraded uh uh will of Crota! Crota Raid. I was gonna say Will of Crota. I'm like, that's a mission. And it looks snazzy, let me tell you. I mean, I used to rock, what was it? The Iron Banner? Iron Banner. Iron Banner. I used to rock this Iron Banner with like the smiley face in the middle. I don't know why. I mean, here it doesn't look like a smiley face, but in this little picture here, I don't know if you can see it, it, it looks like a little smiley face, like uh, right below on the middle of the chest there, but obviously 
it's not very much a smiley face, is it? Um, boots, these are the gold boots, the snow glare from the titans and stuff. A boot of a dying star, and this is a helm of a dying star. Or a veil. Not nearly as good. Actually, we'll destroy that on camera. You sub 400s. This is my uh, my crucible reputation one. I uh, use it sometimes. I got a, I think, a 24, 30, uh, 24, 25 on this one, so it's not the maximum. This one's just a little bit worse. I'm still looking for those maximums, um, but you never know what you're going to get. And then finally, I have the memory of Scory, so I can give my uh, allies uh, uh, more super energy when I'm getting kills, because, you know, you usually ride, run in the Sun Singer. I'm just going to turn you around, because nobody wants to look at that. Uh, we have the Sun Singer always on you, and you never use it until you die. It's really helpful for your teammates to get better. Uh, uh, better supers, but of course using Daybreak, like you get it instantly anyway. So it's, there's like nothing on this character really. I got <laughs> oh yeah, and then I got the uh, the 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 Thorn Bounty on this. I was thinking about maybe I'll just do like a video of me just going through the Thorn Bounty. It's not gonna be something you know in, uh, informational. I was gonna say informal, but I thought it would be a fun little video because I'm running out of video ideas. Help! Um, let's go over here to the the backs and the the. the blip, blip, blip. Yep, really nothing over here. Got a happy horn. I bought these for the, the book, so ignore all those. I have the original book, Arcadia Class uh, Jump Ship. I have the Circle Glide, which is really nice. Don't remember where I got this. This must be from the book. Yeah. No, this is from... Uh, this one, I think, is from the, the Sun Singer, or the Witch's... The Dead Singer Challenge in the book. And then I've had this... I think I got this from, like, the third golden chest I ever got, and I have had it since. So, Jade Rabbit for the win, I guess? <laughs> And, uh, you know, he looks cool in an assortment of different colors, um, but because of the fact that he has, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, the glowing green uh, horn stuff, I, I like the blacksmith shader the best. It looks, it looks good. It looks, it looks good. It looks great. And uh, I'm very proud of me conscious men I don't know what I'm going on about. But anyways, that's the 400 setup. Um, hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys are still here, you probably were like, oh, that's kind of interesting. If you guys noticed my Grimoire score at 4,995, I know. I know. I've gotten all the ghosts. I just need to get one more Siva Fragments, which I'm gonna do. But uh, until I get that 5,000, I don't get that thing in the book. And I'm, I'm so excited for Destiny 2. Uh, what do you guys think of the Destiny 2 um, do you guys, are you guys completed with your book, your Age of Triumphs? Because I think by now you can, it's possible to have completed it since all the raids have rotated. Uh, I haven't done much of the raids, so I, I really have to get on on that. And I have to do a lot of Crucible because I do not have 25. I think I have 14 or 12 in the Crucible. Maybe even less. <laughs> I'm going to do a lot of Trials of Osiris, Iron Banner, so hopefully I can get a lot of those. I have to do the other ones and whatnot and whatnot. It's probably going to be a lot of live stream, but uh, if you guys want to see that or join me on that, make sure you follow my live stream down below. It's Twitch down below slash Dichronic, whatever it is, is in the description. And if uh, if you're over on the Twitch, make sure you say hi and be like, hey, I saw your forehead set up. And of course, I'll award you. I will award you uh, 50, um, 50, 10, 100 teeth. I'll give you 100 teeth, which is like a point system that I have going on on Twitch. It's really fun. You get to gamble it. Um, just come on over and say, hey, I saw your 400 lights set up. I came over to here and uh, you can spend these points on making me do push-ups and crazy stuff. And uh, you can find my stream schedule in the, sc in the panels below on my Twitch channel, which is basically most days at 3 and Sundays at 12. And I have Caboose who's streaming with me all the time. Anyways, without boring you for the, the eternity of time, uh, that's the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. It's a bit of a longer one, but uh, I thought it was fun. I had fun. I had so much fun. I, well... Anytime I get to talk about me, I'm, uh, <laughs> three different versions of me. <laughs> Anyways, that's the video for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Vindai Chronic, and I will see you guys on the next one. No, but really, is it just me who tries to like circle around your ship without touching the ship? And trying to, oh fuck, get a good, ah oh, fuck, run. Ah! <laughs>